In this video I'll explain how to convert numeric values to month names and abbreviations using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the numeric vector that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right that a new vector object is appearing which is called my month num. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that our vector contains 5 numeric values ranging between 1 and 12. Now let's assume that we want to convert these numeric values to month names. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 5. And in this line of code I'm using the month name object which is already provided by the basic installation of the R programming language and then I'm subsetting this object based on our numeric vector. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object which is called my month name. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called my month name and we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object which is containing five month names that correspond to the numeric values in our vector. So the first element of our vector is March and this corresponds to the value 3. The second element is January which corresponds to the value 1 and so on. So in this first example I have explained how to convert a numeric vector two month names using the R programming language. However, it's also possible to convert a numeric vector to month abbreviations and this is what I want to show you in the next example starting in line 8. So in this line of code I'm using the month app data object which is also already provided by the R programming language and then I'm subsetting this data object based on the numeric vector that we have created in the beginning. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data object which is called my month app. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see that another vector object is appearing at the top right which is called my month app. And if we print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 9 you can see that we have created another vector which is containing month abbreviations. So in this case our vector contains the character strings ma, chen, this, ma, and jewel. So in this video I have explained how to convert a numeric vector to month names and to month abbreviations. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsblob.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.